Okay, so this is a, basically a video of just my me testing magna cut in salt water. Um, this is a test I've already done before on annealed magna cut. So I already have a video on my channel of me testing annealed magna cut, and it it basically failed in my mind. It it ended up rusting after like less than forty eight hours. Uh, I redid that test, and I didn't put the video up for this test. But if you want it, uh, just just let me know. I'll put it up. But so I tested a Neil Manica again, and this time I, I ground all the surfaces just to be absolutely sure that it was like completely clean. And then I I tested it again, and same exact results. So now this third test, which I'll 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 show you later in this video. Um, I tested Magna Cut, but this has been professionally heat treated to 62 to 63 rock roll hardness. So I just want to see if there was a difference. Um, cause a lot of people have gotten like different, well, they've gotten different results than what I've had on Magna Cut. And I have a theory about that. I'll, I'll talk about it after I show you the, the, my test, but this basically rusted at the exact, exact same time, basically less than 48 hours. Same thing as the, the annealed uh, magna cut so uh before i show you that um i did do kind of sort of a secondary test and i'll just talk about that now the secondary test i did was just i just wore this knife for a week i cut branches with it and vines and stuff like that at work and i i just didn't clean it that was the test so besides the salt water test i wanted to see because it just it did so poorly in my in my opinion in the salt water test i wanted to see if it would rust just on and just in a practical sense just you know from daily use and from what i found was that no it, it didn't rust um i left all the like the plant material and all the sap and stuff like that and gunk on the knife itself if it got wet i just put it back into the sheath just as it was um and yeah it it worked out fine one of the things that impressed me was was the, its edge retention, which is kind of nuts. Um, all of this is just is just from the plant itself. This like yellow is just from it's like a bark, uh, it's like coloring from the bark I, of some branches that I cut. And one particular spot too that that always like well it did for me for CPN three V, it would uh, darken. It wouldn't rust, but it would darken or patina. Is this area here in the back of the tang? Uh, the reason for that is, for me particularly, is because um, I wear my knife's scout carry, and my arm is like always touching this area all the time. So that's why uh, this this part darkens usually. And for Magnica, it's just like exactly the same as when I started. So here, let me just show you. So this was hair popping sharp when I when I first got it, and now. I mean, it's still shaving sharp. You can hear it cut, cutting um, cutting uh, hair. I don't like doing this so much because it kind of grosses me out. But but yeah, so so the thing that stri struck me the most just from using it for a week and just like, I've used it for two weeks, but using it for a week without any maintenance or nothing like that is, is its edge retention, which is kind of nuts. But yeah, um, I wanted to do this test because there might be people who don't care about the saltwater test and rather just know if it will rust just like in their day-to-day -day use. Um, yeah, so next up is is the saltwater test and I'll I'll clean this up and resharpen it to show it to, show it to you at the end of the video too. Okay, so this is my first voiceover, so bear with me. I did clean the knife itself with um, with alcohol just to get rid of any grease or oil that might be on it. It's the same reason I'm wearing gloves too, just to, so nothing messes with the test itself. Uh, the ratio of, of salt to water I'm using right now is 30 milliliters of salt to 700 milliliters of water. And it's the same ratio that I've, I've used for all my other tests. It turns out to be like 4.2% salt water. And what you normally would find in, in, in ocean water is like 3.6, I believe, something like that. Um, I wanted to choose something that's slightly above that. So it's not too crazy, but it's a, a little bit higher than what you would normally find. And, you know, well, what your tools would no, normally would co come across, basically. So something something realistic. Okay, so I'm mixing it there with a, a G10 rod. <laughs> and then, uh, so next up, I'm just going to test the edge just to show you how sharp it is. Uh, I was curious to see also um, if, if there is any corrosion, how it would affect the, the edge 
of the knife because it is it is the apex is the the area with the less material basically you know it's the thinnest part of the knife all right so now i'm just going to put it back as easy as i can so i don't mess up the tip and then um okay so this test was done in the evening it was done at let's see here 8 29 on a friday all right so then now i come back to this test it is about 16 hours later i think it's a little bit less and you can definitely see rust but you only see it at the bottom of the beaker basically now on the blade itself if you look at the blade there is no rust i mean visible on the blade but there's obviously some that 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 was leached into the water and 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 settled on on the on the bottom now this is now about 24 hours later same day saturday but in the evening and there is definitely rust on the bottom there that you can see but once again like i said you can't really see it on the blade itself now so this is what my theory is all the tests i've seen with magna cut have been people just spraying salt water on on the knife itself now the thing is if i would have used a uh, a container that wasn't see-through and just pulled out the knife after after 24 hours i would have said okay yeah this you know magna cut didn't rust you know it's fine um the only way i was actually able to see that there was rust was because the container is see-through and because i was able to see the rust that leached into the into the water not not because i saw the rust on the blade itself so i think that's that's what the difference is i'm, I'm doing a different test basically than than other people are um, if you have magna cut in a in a, in a clear container it'd be, it'd be very cool of you if you if you did the test i did right now all right so here it is here's the edge cutting test again after after the 24 hours and i can tell no difference from from the from how it was before okay all right so here's the knife clean now And yeah, so I guess I have to do this again. So I resharpened it. Yeah, so um, Magna Cut seems to get like a very nice, nice edge. But all right, so this is the third time I've tested Magna Cut in salt water. And I don't think there's a reason to compare it to LC200N or Vanex or H1. It doesn't make sense to me. So, oh. One example is Spyderco. So they, they mentioned that they were going to use MagnaCut. And this is the reason I, I got interested in MagnaCut in the first place was because, because of this. So they said that they were going to make a salt series knife in, in MagnaCut, which is equivalent to, to comparing MagnaCut to LC200N and H1 because that's the materials they've used previously in their salt series knives. It, it rusting in less than 24 hours um, and being a salt series knife doesn't make any sense to me so i don't know um maybe i'm missing something but and i hope other people will do the same test i i did i'm not saying i'm like special or in any way or whatever but just to just to see because i'm only one person doing one test with one with one ex, one sample of, of steel basically so so hopefully somebody else does the same thing um and see what happens but besides that i am going to do a review on this on this steel like an overall review of just what i think about it in general uh, after i wear it for a little bit longer i have to like solidify solidify my thoughts on it my my opinion on it i just need a little bit more time for that um at the same time i will do a review of this uh design which is um the first time it's the first time i've used this design the first time i i made up this design and then and then used it so i'll, I'll do it a review on both those things at the same time but if you have any questions or comments let me know all right